superhero. I think Pam Anderson's in that movie. How you doing, man? Good seeing you. Uh, one my, of my dude. One of my favorite guests, Tracy yes, Morgan. Yes, sir, my dude. I'm chilling. Are you Good all right morning. or what? Huh? Are you all right? Yeah, man. I got a million things. Hey, th- before I interview you. How about I've been? Hi there. How Tracy? you doing, my love? Be- I'm good. Are That's you? my woman. Before I interview you. Uh-huh. Did you ever hear the phony phone call we made using your voice from one of your appearances? No. You want to hear it? Yeah. All right. This is you calling somebody. Uh, oh, snap. <laughs> this is good. Hey. Hey. Hello. 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 What's up, baby? Uh, this allergy is driving me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. I love when a woman gag. I can't hear you. Good. <laughs> 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 This is your dick. God damn. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, there it is. Yo, Howard, that is hilarious, <laughs> man. See, we don't really even need you to make phony phone yes. calls. We can do them all on our own. Yeah, man. But what is going on? Before we talk about your movies and your what, career, which is really on fire, quietly on fire, I would say. Yeah. You're uh, doing a movie with um, uh, Pam Anderson, that superhero yeah, movie. Yeah. What, is, what is that superhero? Superhero is a spoof. We're spoofing like X Men. And who do you play? I play uh, Perse- Professor Xavier. Oh, you know the professor. You're the professor. Yeah. So they made him black, and that's <laughs> funny. And yeah, you know, and, black it up a little bit. And Pam Anderson, you're on the set with her, huh? Yo, man, I couldn't take my eyes off her, man. You like She's it. the eighth wonder of the world, bro. Yeah. I thought it was all hype. Couldn't work your way saw, in. What? I saw, first of all, I saw the tape with her and her ex-husband. Tommy Lee. Yeah, she's, yeah. Uh, oh my goodness. Yeah. Let me tell you something, man. I got two two scenes in two movies that I always masturbate to. Go ahead. There's your movie, Body Parts, where Homegirl private took Private Parts. The, private Parts, when she took the knockwish in her mouth. Oh, Kielbasa Queen. Yeah, huh? You beat off to that? I beat off to that. In my movie, When the Girl Eats the Sausage. Yes. You beat off to that. Yo, she's incredible, dude. Wow. I'm a, I'm a freak. I'm the biggest freak you ever want to meet. Right. Do you like to jam your penis all the way down the throat like that? Is that yeah. a fantasy? Yeah, I have, I have no fucking remorse, man. Do you ever... You get me wash, you get... I need to wash. When you're with a lady... <laughs> Do you say? Do you try to jam the whole thing down her throat? Yeah, doesn't that make she them? could take it. She's a woman. Yeah, women like Robbie, that, that shit. W- they like the big bulbous dickhead, man. They do. My shit is bulbous. My dickhead is shaped like a Darth Vader helmet. Is it big? <laughs> my dick look like R two D two. God damn it! <laughs> You're telling me they call me, my balls the fucking evil empire. Do you ever think that that's angry in a way to gag a woman with your penis like that? Yeah, hard? fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> You're angry. You're angry with women, Call right? Call it what you want. Do you not? Are you, are you angry at women? <laughs> no, I just like to see mascara running. Yeah, but you you were angry with your mother. You didn't talk to your mother for years. Am I yeah, correct? but me and her cool, man. Well, you know, well, I'm not I'm not that angry. I'm going to a divorce now. Well, Whoa. we're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. Yeah, but I'm going to ask that you. Coming. I'm going to ask you. Why didn't you talk to your mother for years? Uh, I think I was mad. It was a lot of issues going on. My older brother had cerebral palsy. So right. growing up, she had five of us by herself. Her husband just came home from Vietnam. He was on the junk. So she couldn't deal with that because she had five kids to raise right. in the projects by herself. Right. So she gave a lot of attention to my older brother because that could kill a woman's spirit when her first child is born with cerebral palsy. Yes. You so for a long time, yeah. I thought that she didn't love me because I was a child. Right. I didn't know. Children yeah. don't know, so when I became a man and I got older, I figured it out. I forgave my mother. So you did know? you? But it, I don't think my mother ever forgave herself. You for forgave my pops your mother not being there. You were on the set of a movie in a church, and you all of a sudden had an epiphany, right? You all of a sudden said, "I don't think it was epiphany. What it was was you talking about the scene in First Sunday when I cried." That's right. Well, the director David Talbot, he's a master. He's a genius. He got my head way before we even shot that scene. Right. He started. When I first got the part, he started asking me about my background, blah, blah, blah. Because I didn't know how I was going to get to that part. But you finished the scene and you called your mother because you were so I love emotional. my mom's, Now man. you love your mom's. Me and my, I always love my mother, man. That's my mom's. So you're 
out. She your wouldn't. Out. So she wouldn't. Do you ever would, think when you're jamming your huge helmet-like penis? <laughs> did somebody ever do that to my mother? Yeah, well, no, no. That you're angry with your own mother. That but, you're wh- jam. You know, that your no. hatred of her. And I don't. Your anger. I don't equate jamming my cock down a chick's throat <laughs> yeah, with well, my mom's. I'm not thinking about think fucking mother. mother when I'm jamming my cock down a chick's uh, throat. Saying, I just want my dick sucked that way. That's you like it very deep. Oh my God, man! You don't know what how good it feels. Do you? Well, you know how it. I'm very gentle. How good it feels. What do you mean? I don't know. I have a penis. When, a, when your penis is in a woman's wet, warm mouth, it feels and saliva's good. Saliva's running all down the shaft and shit. And so Pam beautiful. Anderson was the second movie that you beat off to, and Caligula is the first. Caligula. That's uh, my uh, cup of parts. coffee in the morning. Wow. That's so, my cup of coffee. When she's on there on the boat? Yeah. And she's giving homeboy that head? Tommy Lee. Yo, that's car wash right there, man. Car wash. Now, let me ask you this. So, you're working on the movie with Pam Anderson, yep. Superhero. Why not uh, make the play for her? You're a star? No way. I'm way at that, I'm, that's out of my league, bro. Is it? Yeah. Really? My, yeah. You can't get a girl like that? Yeah, I can get a girl like that, but I'm not going to put forth the energy. Why? That would take a lot of energy, bro. What? What? I what, would what have else? to. That would cost me about a good forty-five grand a week. I'm worried about you and your money here. Let me talk to you for a second. First My of money's all, good. Wait a second. You own you a. You haven't four, gotten divorced yet. Yeah, you own a four hundred fifty thousand dollar car. Am I correct? What? Do you own a four hundred fifty thousand dollar? Talking about the Ferrari. Yeah. The Lambo and all that. Yeah. I yeah. get money. I'm getting that paper. Yeah, I know, but but why do you spend your money on a four hundred fifty thousand dollars car? Because my pops thing. could never do it. Is that why? You're yeah, angry with your father. I'm making up for ancestry, man. Right? Would you ever go like? I'm a, doing it. Would you ever take money and spend it on a hooker the way our governor did? Nah, never. I never bought pussy before. Oh, you you have, have bought pussy. Yeah, I bought pussy. Before. When did you? We never bought pussy. I have never I've been buying pussy since I was in high school. Really? Yeah. Where do you go to buy pussy? The Harlem. <laughs> How are the hoes? In, in the Harlem? hood. Are they hot? Yes. Oh, my grande culo. Can you get Oh, my God. Do, grande you, mucho culo. How much grande would you pay? Grande torto. How much would you pay a woman? About $40, $50. $50 dollars if I would, Yeah, whatever I want. Wow. Finger in the butthole, all that. Really? <laughs> you would pay? Shaka and all that. You would put a finger in the butthole for yeah, a Yeah, you got to. You got to play with that dungleberry. <laughs> Ah. Gotta play with the dingleberry. You love sex. Yeah, yeah. man. Are I'm you a, a sex I'm a, addict? I'm a Scorpio. I don't think, I don't believe in that sex addict shit. Yeah, well, could you? Well, be- how the fuck you gonna be a sex addict? Either you like pussy or you don't. Well, in the sense that you're a sex addict that you can't. You eat- don't never get enough. Well, how the fuck I'm gonna be an addict? A sex addict would be someone who doesn't even think of the person as a woman. They just gotta fuck you mean a pretty. fucking crash dummy? Yeah. That's I'm not saying. demented. <laughs> I like to bang. Don't know female. Well, I'm not into that making love shit. The last time you were here, I might bang the one I love. The last time you were here, you were you said you loved your sobriety. Right. We asked you how long you were sober. I'm it doing was good. Eight how? days. Th- at that how time. long have you got now? Right. A couple of months. Right, yeah. But wait a second. Yeah, man. Here's what I read. Not you drinking. Were, don't touch this stuff. I'm good. You were with us. You were wearing a thing on your ankle, an ankle bracelet. I was all fucked up. Right. And yeah, that bracelet actually told if he drank, right? Yeah, the judge, well, I forget why, but the judge made you put one on. Yeah. Something happened. Because I, I was legendary. My party in was legendary. It really was. And you had the ankle bracelet on, and you said to me... I was I, on the Lindsay Lohan program. Right. You said you love the ankle bracelet, you love your sobriety... And then, like, a day later, I read in the paper, you were out drinking with the ankle bracelet on. No, you didn't. <laughs> Get yeah. out of here. And you had a relapse. No. You didn't? That fucking bracelet was sensitive, man. I, <laughs> I spent a lot. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you, you something. You got a sensitive bracelet. Yes, that you that fucking me, that to overly me sensitive. Oh. You haven't had oh. a drink since? I've been chilling. Is that true? I've been chilling, man. Is the bracelet gone? I feel I work out. Yeah, the bracelet is gone. How did you get rid of the bracelet? I got my license back and everything. Yeah? I'm not getting that privilege revoked again. Fuck that. Are you complete? I like driving all them fucking $450,000 <laughs> cars. If I pay for this shit, I want to be able to drive it. Do you have to Fuck blow? Fuck two Coronas. Do you have to blow into a thing to get your car I don't started? Have to do none. No, come yeah. on. Come on, you don't That's about. for fucking retarded people. <laughs> but I don't do no shit like that. Well, sometimes that. the judge will say, we're going to put a device nah, in your car. They Putting no shit in my fucking Ferrari. So Hell you no. Imagine you with a Ferrari and every and three Ferrari minutes you're put blowing. the shit in there that I do it. <laughs> I'm not doing that shit. But what nah, is so man. great about a Ferrari? Is it do you get a lot of pussy with the Ferrari? Straight pussy, man. I went up when I bought it, I went upstairs to my homeboy house. You know, right. go put my homeboy up. 
let them short and see it, right? You weren't afraid they would steal it from you, you I homeboys? came back, no. Nah, I came right. back downstairs and it was a pair of fucking dirty panties on my fucking car. Really? Discharge and all of that. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Because and girl, I love fucking discharge, man. You do. That's a special sauce on a Big Mac, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> discharge a little. Yes, yeah, sir. It's like a strong. McRib. You got to have that gushy ushy. Yeah? You like going down on that? Yeah, what? Yeah. Come yeah. on, man. I'm a grown fucking man. I'm right. not scared. I like to go to the supermarket and watch grown women shop for cucumbers. How did you uh, avoid... <laughs> Pick that big green one. How did you avoid... Pick it? that big green one. How did you avoid STDs? I mean, you don't use a rubber, right? Yo, dude, first of all, you gotta be a real loser to get fucked fucking crabs at 40 years old. <laughs> <laughs> but you how do you know? You're a fucking asshole to get clapped at 39. But how do you know? Nah, man. I know. I, I, I fuck with the generations, man. Right. I know what generation I'm fucking with. I'm not fucking with nothing young. Right. Not that young where you could get clapped. Right. I'm fucking with a grown ass woman that know how to wash the stink box. Right. So how old are the women you generally go with? <laughs> My age. 35 and better. 35. Now you, last time you were here, you loved She's your wife. She's 35 years old. She ain't got no STD. Last time, well, they could have got it. I'm not going to be sitting in pediatrics with my head in my hand at 39. <laughs> That's real you love. You use a rubber you, when you were the girl? Yeah, I use a rubber. But I'm you old do. school. Right. I'm old school. What Fuck does that rubber. mean? I'm pull, when I come in, I come in. Really? I'm not, when I get ready to come, I'm not pulling out. No. You, I, got, so no I got kids. I'm like my father, Jimmy. Right. My, I know I got a brother in Vietnam. He's probably short, Chinese looking, and look just like me. Right. My father was laying that dick down over there. He wasn't just fighting that war. Sure. Getting that Chinese pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Get that Chinese pussy. Yeah, that's right. Listen, he was a brave soldier. Why yeah, not? He didn't like some egg foo young, goddammit. You think you have a Chinese brother somewhere? Ooh, somewhere. I know I do. If it was Jimmy, Jimmy was over in Vietnam. Wow. I Wouldn't got about weird? 12 sisters and brothers over there Wouldn't somewhere. it be weird if you met some Vietnamese guy who was you, but like, you know. It wouldn't be weird for me. I know my father. Right. Well, so when you're with He had a dick the size of a Louisville slugger. So you're dating. You saw your father's penis. Yeah, he used to walk around naked all the time really? in front of me. And it was big. I, that's where I get it from. Right. I let my three sons know when your dick get bigger than mine, you getting the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> you no longer my son. You're a fucking threat. Now, how long right. how are you going to know that? Because I know I got, I got a fucking baby arm. There's monthly expect inspection? I got how a fucking you, baby I'm, arm. Measure your penis right now. How big is it? I'm not measuring my penis you, right now. Come on, my shit it? going. When I die, my shit going to be in the Smithsonian right next to Michael Jackson's glove. How how big is it? You've measured me about. I'm about nine inches. Wow. Around. Uh, no, come on. <laughs> How big is it? Be I'm about nine inches. Nine inches. Wow. Yeah, I'm fucking nine, but Good I'm thick. You. My shit and thick. thick. Yeah. Do girls ever get scared when they're with you? No, nah, nah. Do they, they ever say it hurts? Women get over the fear of penis when they like fucking 15. Yeah, but he when a woman... We're really scared of vagina. Men are scared of vagina. No, when you see... You, when you go get pussy, Howard, you still got butterflies in you because you want to perform, God damn it. You do, you do. You want to put it down. You want her to invite you back. Do you hold out a long time? Who, what? Hold out, like without coming. Can you yeah, let go? I, yeah, I, yeah, I come, but I'm 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 15 minutes now. Are you? Yeah, that's I, pretty good. 15 minutes of some off the wall shit. What yeah. do you want two hours of some bullshit? No, I can. Or do 15 minutes of some dynamite shit. I had a good friend, a black guy, just like yourself. We uh, shared a tent one summer. We were working together. We actually lived in a tent. But broke and back. Would, you about to tell me some broke back mountain shit? No, no, no. Shit? I used to Come bang. On, I, I, I would bang chicks. Know. I would bang I chicks in my know. bed. You my hero, goddamn. I, I agree. Chicks I sometimes. Please don't fucking tell me no crazy shit. No, no. He banged chicks. I banged chicks. And he used to say to me, man, you come fast. Because you see, I'd be done in two seconds, this guy. <laughs> That's and, cool. And I, I said, yeah. I said, I can't hold out. He goes, man, you're not a black guy. I go, what do you mean? He goes, I can hold out an hour. This, that's because you were young. You had no dick control. Yeah, but he was young Think about transmissions and shit. This guy Danny, he was. You got to know how to keep it hard and focus and breathe. It's all in the breathing. When you Is it? Man. What Bang. do you do when you feel that, that feeling rhythm. coming up? When I'm getting ready, nothing. Yeah, just slow down. Slow down. Just slow down. Take a breath, and then you be back right back. Wow. What's wow. the entire love making process? I, I, I suffer is from slow. anxiety. Yeah. So if I get with a woman, I got to beat my dick. That first nut, get it out the way. Right. That me too. second nut, go about an hour, 15, 20 minutes. How really? bad would you beat your dick? I beat my dick like it owed me money. Yes! You know, <laughs> Thank you. Like you are constantly Tracy. stealing from me. That's right. Tracy. <laughs> if you don't know that fucking joke, you're probably a scumbag. I know the guy who wrote it. You don't believe, you don't deserve to be on a fucking road if you don't if you <laughs> Tracy, steal that fucking bitch. Tracy, wait a second. Back up for You that. should not be in the improv. I want to be serious with you. As my grandfather called the improv. <laughs> I want to be serious with you for a minute. Because okay. this is serious stuff. 
<laughs> you came in here. You were on. Uh, you were on the bracelet. You had that whole thing going. Right. All right. You got the bracelet off somehow. I don't know how. The judge said. You, what do you mean? You don't know. I I'm stopped saying, drinking. You you stopped they couldn't drinking. keep me in jail forever. So how long did you wear the bracelet? Six months. Six months. Wow. Okay. So it came off. That's very liberating, especially for your wardrobe. I mean, you know, you look a lot cooler without I paid that, the price, though, Howie. It cost yeah. me my fucking marriage, man, that drinking shit. Well, that's what I was going to ask you. You were here. You, you, how long were you married to your wife? 21 years. 21 bro. years. It was a whole thing. You got kids. I was with her last night. We was kicking it last night. She cooked me some Easter dinner and stuff. Well, what is land. going on? What do you mean you're getting a divorce? It's my girl, man. What did she say? She said, I can't be with you anymore. She just, it was, she went her way. I went my way. What does that man? mean? She hooked up with years, a guy? Our kids are fuck, I don't know what she's doing, but our kids are Grown ass men, man. My oldest right. son is twenty two. My baby's sixteen. Was she the baby crying? lived with me. My wife. Yeah. My wife wanted to kill me. Black women don't fucking cry. But why did Let she want tell to you kill you? Man, Hillary Clinton could have my vote if she whooped Monica Lewinsky's ass. <laughs> That's the only way she'll get my fucking vote. Anytime your husband's getting his dick sucked in the Oval Office and you and your fucking daughter sleeping down the hall, All right. you supposed to whoop that bitch ass. Right. Fuck being strong for the American people, brother. But Rock Wife ain't having that shit. That's a real black fucking woman. Well, let me ask you that. She gonna, we going to get Bin Laden. You know why? Because But Rock Wife going to tell him, you know he says something about your mother. <laughs> but, but you you want to see you, a you, fucking war? You say something about a black motherfucker. You are mother. making a good point, actually. I'm a Hillary Clinton supporter. Well, that motherfucker's ass. They can find fucking Saddam. They can find that motherfucker. They found my cousin Raheem down south. <laughs> why they can't find him? You're making a real good point. At Raheem is what? Right. Is he prison now? I don't know. He did some shit in New York. When black people commit a crime in New York, you go down south. Right. And Who don't got family down south? <laughs> what you're saying is, and you make a point you about black Hillary. and you ain't got family down south, motherfucker, you ain't black. You know, you're making an interesting point about Hillary Clinton. I support her, but... She's supposed to whoop that bitch ass. So let me see some human shit then. Well, I think she always trying to pull a human shit out when she losing. I think what you're saying is, how can a and woman... Spitzer, lead... you see Spitzer's wife? Yes. I'll buy some pussy too. Right. He had to he was governor, goddammit. I got to do whatever it takes to feel like governor in the morning. If it means what, spend four, I wouldn't have spent four thousand. I wouldn't have spent four thousand. She got forty five, fifty dollars. Right. <laughs> yes, I wonder if her head game is that good. No, yeah, but, you're but making- are you saying she wasn't putting out? His wife? Mrs. Smith? Oh, they, she stopped a long time ago. They wasn't even sleeping in the same room. I know Spitzer. Oh, really? You do? That's my dude. We hung out a couple and of he times. he said to you, my wife doesn't even give me any? Yeah, his wife don't give him none. He tried to put it in. Really? You, you said that? You met the governor? I met the governor. And you said you talked if about I sex get to with me, him? If Obama win, yeah. this is my fucking dream, Howard. If Obama wins and I get to meet him, mm-hmm. I'm going to lean forward and I'm going to shake his hand. I'm going to go, what's up, nigga? <laughs> Why is that he your gonna dream? He's going to say, what's up, nigga? <laughs> What's up, nigga? My That's nigga. My nigga. My know. nigga. <laughs> hey, yo, they go try to, you know it's going to be some domestic violence in that fucking White House. You're saying- I'm going to the after party if he win. I think Pete Diddy going to be there. <laughs> I heard Diddy's supposed to fall. Is that really what you would say to the president? What's up, nigga? Really? What the fuck are you going to do to me? Say, I'm the president, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, now you changed, motherfucker? So, I know his man's out in Chicago and them. He going to have secret service, but he going to have his boys his pri- with him, too. In his private moments, he goes, I'm the head nigga in charge. He's the head nigga in charge. All right. You fucking right. That's the president of the I United States. I got to States. live in this fucking... Let me tell you something. If Hillary yeah. Clinton become president, I just want to see her have a wardrobe malfunction. Because that right. chick is thick. Yeah, I'm going doggy style on Hillary if I ever get some pussy. But you make a good point. I know point. the fucking hips, the thighs, and the fucking cellulite and all that shit. But you we make, gonna stink up the room. You gotta. You make a I'm good point. I'm gonna stink. I'm gonna pound the pussy till the stink. <laughs> you make a very good point. Yeah, all day. Uh, you make a good point. Let me make your point for you. You're saying how can a woman be the president of the country, the most powerful country on the on the world, if she? Don't even want to whoop the bitch ass. Forget the whooping, but she she should have maybe left. In other words, does she have the real backbone? Is what right. you said. Can she defend she ain't gonna the fucking country? Pull the trigger or she she just just she ain't even fucking everybody. going on this chick for doing that. What was the bitch doing in the house anyway? Right, right. What is she doing? She's there? supposed to be a wife and all that shit before the president. That's that's her job. Let me tell you something, man. She can't be fucking president. There's a reason why we never let women run the fucking army.
Why? Why is that? Because she get a period and push the fucking button. Uh, <laughs> Look, Tracy. She get cramps and want to pull everybody out of Kuwait but for a week. all the black people were for <laughs> Hillary Clinton. They get said everybody out of Iraq for a week. All the black people were for Hillary Clinton. They always said she's an honorary black per- Bill Clinton's an honorary black man. What happened? That's all out the window? He ain't no honorary black man. He, he, you never said that. He was I never honorary. said that Who shit. Who was saying that? A lot of black people. saying he was the first black president there for a while. Come on, man. Probably a whitey. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> no. But he, Rock got to show, he got to man up. He got to show me something. He could be just another politician. Right. I don't vote. I don't vote. Last time I even voted was for Dave Dinkins, and he fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Would you vote for Barack I'll Obama? I vote for Dave, goddammit. Are you going to vote for Barack? Fucked Bar- up with that Yusef Hawkins shit and Crown Heights and all. Yeah, he yeah, fucked yeah. up. Are he should have go- handled it better. Are you going to vote for Barack Obama? I mean, this is a black man. Barack is my man. I'm going to fill out an application for that security. No, are you going to vote in the next election? I don't know. If he is the nominee. I'll probably vote for him, yeah. I'm going to yeah, vote for him. you probably will go and vote. That'll yeah, motivate first black, you. I got, this is a great century, man. I got to live and see a, the first black president. You never thought I got to that. see both Michael Jacksons, white and black. Right. You've seen <laughs> and I got it all. to see fucking Michael Jordan suck at something. Right. And I got to see Janet Jackson's titty. Right. That's pretty good. <laughs> I yeah. could fucking rest in peace now. Is Tracy allowed to vote? Are you allowed to vote? Yeah, I'm allowed to why, vote. Why I'm not a fucking Black's valid. got the vote What here, the fuck so. are you talking about? Am I allowed to vote, you fucking hump? Are you fucking you convicted prick? of a crime? Sometimes they don't let you Never vote. been convicted, you fucking hump. I'm on 30 <laughs> Rock, you fucking moron. Let me understand what happened. You see me on fucking NBC. You think NBC is going to hire a felon to do a fucking TV show primetime? They could get you a fucking a- prick. <laughs> right. Tracy. Tracy. Wow. Why would I, wanna- I be a fucking felon on 30 Rock? Rock. Tracy Morgan, I gotta understand something. Think Tina Fey's gonna let me be around her and I'm a felon, you fucking moron? Tell me what happened with... <laughs> tell, he's a fryer. Fucking undertone, <laughs> racist fryer. shit. Yeah. He's a fryer. Yeah. Like I'm racist. black, just because I'm black, I, I yeah. fucking drink he's, water with my hands. And <laughs> I'm scared That's fire. That's what he's saying. And I, I, I'm attracted to shiny things and shit. Can Come you on, swim? Man. Yeah, I can See, swim, but I don't fuck swim. with water. He thinks you can't swim. I used to go to the fucking swimming pool in my, in my fucking projects. Right. And... I was shit in the pool. What? Damn. I know I'm that. I'm shutting it down. That's power. Can I ask you something? <laughs> I'm shutting it down. You want to steal my sneakers? I'm shutting it down. Now the big brown shark getting ready to come. Can I, can I understand Collard something? greens and corn, everything floating in the You know, I, I, grew up, I grew up in a black neighborhood. <laughs> I grew up in a black neighborhood, and a, a you lot love of the that kids, black pussy but a too. lot, yeah, I do. But a lot you of love kids, that, that, that nappy dugout. <laughs> it was very hard to get. When's black the last pussy? time you got some black poo poo? You like that with black well, JJ? I, I, you like I, the JJ? I like it. Pink inside. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's what's up. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you something. That's how black people feel about white women. Yeah. <laughs> they got something to do with slavery, goddammit. It. It's just all women. You know what they call me? My dick is so, you know what they call me? Female, I make females call me Manaconda. Really? <laughs> Manaconda. I don't understand that. Because I'm fucking, my shit is huge, like a python. Boy, you are lucky. Yeah, boa. Let me ask you a question. I don't honestly. put that much pressure on myself when it comes to sex. When I lived in the black community, a lot of the kids would shit in the pool yeah you know and you just said something really revealing that's power and when, when you power. feel powerless i want to shut something down yeah so that's why the kids were shitting in the pool they felt powerless because you fucking shut it down it takes all summer long to get that bacteria that's bacteria did you yeah. ever psychoanalyze <laughs> it that much i never thought of that before you go put shit you in the in, pool shut it down you put, put the you kids in the ain't got seat. nowhere to fucking play all summer now they got <laughs> they're forced into the fucking fire hydrant right <laughs> <laughs> the Giuliani style, yeah. God damn it! I'm uh, shutting down the seaport. Wow. I can't get my cut. And shut the fuck down. Then. Wow. South Street seaport. Let me tell you something. Where Three? else have you crapped? Huh? Where else have you gone in the bathroom? On some couple of girls' titties. <laughs> Did you? You shit on? I them? shit on fun bag. Were they in a yeah. pool? There's some crazy women out there. That you love shit cat. on a woman. You never saw two girls in a cup. Well, I've had four girls in the cup, goddammit. Really? That's your thing? You <laughs> no, would, that ain't my thing, Did you man. shit on a woman's titties? I would, if she asked me to. But have you ever done Why it? Why not? You would shit on a woman's yeah, titties? Yeah, pooped. You have? Oh, yes. So you Tell me about function. that. I've shitted on fucking, you shit on the titties and they rub it in. To Tina Fey? Oh, my God. No, I wouldn't do it to Tina Fey. <laughs> Come on, I would, I would do it to that chick that Spitzer was with. Would you? Yeah, she could get shitted on. I wonder how much that I would, would tell her I'm a fart, and then I would just shit on her. You wouldn't be embarrassed? I would tell her, I'm, no, I wouldn't be embarrassed. A big I'm a shit. fucking, I'm a freak. I'm the fucking porno dude, man. Let me understand something now. Are you happy to be divorced? Are you out there banging I'm around? happy that she's happy. No, wait a second. Don't give me I'm any I'm happy bullshit. that she's happy. Now Yo, you're bullshitting. Let me man. tell you something. Women love money. 
Yeah. Men love freedom. I ain't never seen a man fuck a woman for a mink coat. <laughs> right. <laughs> Can I ask you, you give a me some freedom, God damn it! And I love you forever. Hey, let me tell you something. When, you let you the get fucking dog out. Did no, you get a we lawyer? got a mediator. You got a mediator. Yeah, we I'm looking at that bracelet it. on your hand. Yeah. What did that cost you? This is about sixty-one thousand. Sixty-one thousand. Is that where your money's going to Ferraris and jewelry? Are I'm you black. Saving? What the fuck, man? Yeah, I'm black. I know you're black, but are you saving any My money? My money. I, you'd be surprised how much land I own. Really? Now, I won't your own, wife get I own half? Half a fucking Virginia. Won't ha- won't your wife get half of uh, half of your half? <laughs> no, my wife is she's an entrepreneur. She's doing her thing, man. I give her like twenty one thousand a month, so she's good. How did she How did she tell you she wanted a divorce? How did this all go down? Because you, you don't said I want a fucking way. divorce. She said it for about five years straight. Right, because you're difficult to be with, aren't you? You are. You're, you're tough. You're tough. Comedian, dude. Yeah, but you're tough. I I'm see. I'm probably my one of my, my generation, one of my generation's funniest motherfuckers out. Uh, one of the I funniest did, guys I've ever. I was stern met. three fucking times. You, you don't have no lame ducks on this fucking no, show. No, I dude. don't. You're one of the funniest guys I ever met. You're a fucking icon. Right. You're I my am. dude. I know. But wait a minute. Fucking Artie we... right here. This is my dude. We hung out. Yeah. We watched some motherfuckers fuck. That's Remember right. that night? That's right, we did. Uh, Let me tell you, think I'm a really big big ball freak. We was in fucking Hollywood. Teddy's in the Roosevelt Hotel, right? And this yeah. motherfucker was banging the shit out of this girl right there in front of everybody. It wow. really was extraordinary. Wow. Like, but wait a minute. He was a sex banging. show. A sex yeah, show. they yeah. put on a sex show for her. Yeah, Didn't cool. we read, though, not too long ago that you were at Caroline's and people booed? No. Who? And walked out? Tracy? Oh, yeah. Tracy, yeah. Not that me. didn't happen? No, never. No. Not Tracy. Oh, you crazy. I remember. I go in. When I'm on stage, baby, I give 150%. This man's a genius. If they walk I out, believe it. if they walk out, God damn it, don't just walk out and go home and write a fucking letter to send it to somebody. I don't give <laughs> right. a fuck. Tracy. I'm pro- fucking professional. My buddy's spent. I, this isn't making sense to me. You you finally gave in to your wife's demand for divorce. Right. And 21 then, years is a long time. And you were you faithful during the 21 years? You were not. You were not. Let's be honest. Was I faithful to yeah, my wife yeah. during the 20 years? You heard years? the question. Let me tell you, I'm going to my answer. I got to think for a minute. I t- I'm not the one of these fans talking d- dumb motherfuckers. Right. <laughs> now, I would get down. I would holler at females, but I never I right. never penetrated nothing while right. I was with my wife. So how long after you granted my your wife? My wife ain't never have a problem with me and women. Okay. So once she said, let's get a divorce, and you agreed, how soon after were you out fucking? Well, first of all, I, mean, I wasn't out. I wasn't out like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was on the road. I was on the road a lot, and I got married to the fucking road, man. Okay. My lady, didn't, she's not one for flying and all that, so I got to make a living. Right. So I got to go. Right. So she didn't want to go, so I the road, and you know what the road Ray, happened to Ray Charles, motherfucker. Right. So did you, so I right get away. lonely in that fucking hotel room. You bring chicks up to keep your feet warm in the bed. So who you with Rub now? your nuts. Huh? Who are you with now? I'm single. Just, I'm just single. single. I'm raising a baby. And Pam Anderson? She she's fucking hot. What, would she walk around almost naked? On no, the set? no, 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 no. She had her her costume on, but, but yeah. she's a f- icon, man. It's Pam, so I'm sharing space with her. She's still so got of course, her. I'm a fucking look. I'm not repressed. Right. I'm not one of the motherfuckers on the set that ain't gonna look at women. I I let all the ladies know you're looking good. God damn it. Tracy Morgan <laughs> is good. in superhero movie opening this Friday in theaters everywhere. I'm excited about that. Yo, how man? I'm just excited to be man, here. This man. is great. It's what great What fucking way you. do you you spend? Look how I'm spending my money. Morning. I love it. I, I know a million fucking comedians that will never get to sit on this fucking That's true. Couch. We are. Never get to gaze in Robin's fucking eyes and got a fucking <laughs> Let's uh, go to, uh, Audi Rod- riding shotgun. <laughs> Let's go to Henry. Henry in St. Cloud, Florida. Go ahead, you're on with Tracy Morgan, the star of 30 Rock, superhero of the movie, and also just finished filming a new movie with oh, I'm Ice right. Cube. Yeah, that's. Yeah. Uh, well, but I'm getting ready to film another movie next month with uh, Jessica Biel. Oh, Jessica Biel. Oh. Yeah, it's called Nailed. Uh, oh, wow. David Ru- David Russell, the one, the director, David Russell. Yeah, he's directing this. He's so. got a huge can you, career can going. You, can you can you fuck famous chicks? Do you ever get a famous? I one? probably could, but I ain't I ain't on it. I'm too busy, man, to really get down. Could you ever get a famous? Could you, ever get, could you ever get a famous white woman? That would be hell. Fucking yeah, I could. could. My game is strong. If I wasn't Tracy Morgan, I push up. Who could you get? I pull. I pull. Bitch, let me tell you what I did on the airplane. Go ahead. I fucking seen this hot ass white woman, man. Beautiful. <laughs> when was this? Hips. This is about two months. Let's go fucking hips, ass, fucking camel toe, how? I mean, <laughs> fucking big Tight ass. Pants. 
big first fucking class. big titties. And so she was sitting behind me, and I noticed in first she, class? Yeah, I waited until we was 35,000 feet in the air. Right. And she was getting up to go to the bathroom, so I went to the bathroom before her. Right. And I beat my dick. Yeah. And I put the sperm <laughs> on the fucking doorknob. Oh, stop it. And she went in behind me. She was mad as a motherfucker, too. And that's I was what like, did? That's, that's, fuck, I, that, that's not a strong. fucking hair was in my fucking sperm. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that. We connected. <laughs> she touched my fucking sperm. Would you, stop have it. you ever gotten a famous white woman? Yeah. You have. Yeah, I'm in the books. You are. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm in the books. I fucked up famous. When you say famous, you, when you say A-list or B-list? So Gordon Weaver. You fucked her in her ass. You fucked her in her ass. Yeah, it's me and Sigourney. I just fell in love with her in Aliens. When she's putting that suit on, you saw that big ass pussy, that fucking beef patty right there? <laughs> oh, I the love truth. eating that pussy. Oh, right, I, I know you're that. kidding. I know you're kidding. He is? Uh, yeah. Could be. You never know. <laughs> no, they said Richard Pryor and Barbara Waters did something. That's right. I asked her about that. <laughs> is it, was it true? She denies it. <laughs> but this the word is out on the streets already. Right. But that but, word but, is still out there on the street. But explain it to it me. It then came down. When you fucked. Like an indictment. When you fucked a white famous woman, was she A list or B list? A list. A list. TV yeah. star or movie star? Came on the small of her back. Movie star or came on the small of her back. Movie star, movie yeah, star. Right. Been on the red carpet a few times. We met on the red carpet. No kidding. Our eyes met. Our eyes met. Is that true? It's swear true, in your mother's man. life. I swear, I swear it's true. Yeah. Yes, we went back to the hotel in L.A. Man, she rode the dick. She even said, "Ooh, is it my stomach?" Wow. <laughs> I went crazy when I heard that stomach shit. I was like, "Oh, Ooh. is it your stomach? Oh, is it your Look stomach?" Look at you. Look at you. I'm a Look fucking beast, man. Let's go to Henry. Henry, you're, uh, oh, Henry, go ahead. You had a question. Oh, man, you guys are crazy, Howard. Everybody just, what's up, man? First time caller, so I'm a little nervous. Yeah, hurry. Trace. What's up? The shit, man. You the shit, bro. Right on, bro. baby. Quick question, man. <laughs> hey, have you ever been with more than one girl? Yeah. You've had a threesome? How many? Yeah, come on. I'm in the Vegas, man. I have about five in my fucking hotel room. <laughs> Not five. hookers? Just walk around. Were they hookers? Here? Yeah. They were. Pay for the pussy. Uh, five females in the room. You want to do it? Let me tell you something. You, you oh, live yeah. once, God damn it. You live <laughs> once, motherfucker. That's it. What do you do with live five once. women? Just Why tell them to walk hookers? around, beat your dick. Tell them to walk around, kiss your nuts. Whatever really? the fuck you want to do. I'm spending the money. Yeah. That money, my money What did that cost you? Money money money. Money. Huh? What does your night cost you like that? Yeah, about 1500 1500 Five girls 2, walking around kissing your balls. 2000 Walk around the room. Wow. I'm a black superfly. I'm Ron O'Neill, motherfucker. <laughs> it's unreal. I'm Ron O'Neill, motherfucker. Ken, you're on the air in Lighthouse Point, Florida. <laughs> I'm Ron O'Neill, motherfucker. Like I live in the name of Ron O'Neill. That's my father. And I'm to I tell grown women, grown black women when I want them, I say, you know who my father is. They say, who? I say, David Ruffin. <laughs> <laughs> Ken, go ahead. You're on the Lighthouse Point, Florida. They said it was Eddie Kendricks, but he don't come around. My mom, I know it was David Tracy, Ruffin. Tracy, listen to Ken. Come on. Let's let him ask you. an interview for the age. Ages, man. Yep. I'd love to be on the fly on the wall when you sober up and your people sit you down. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be fucking crazy. This guy thinks I'm you're sorry, high right man. now. Is no. it possible you're high right now? It's I'm fucking fine, 8 in the morning. Why would I be fucking a, high, moron? Do you th Ken, are you implying that you think he's high? I think he's on a great career arc right now. I think he's off the uh, the yoke or the collar or whatever they had him tied up to uh, electronically. And now that he's off, he's going nuts. And I think it's great. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'm going fucking nuts. <laughs> Is this the same jackass who called before and said yeah. he couldn't vote? Uh, Paul, you're on the air in Burlington, Vermont. Go ahead, Paul. Good morning, guys. Morning. Yeah, huge fan. Love the Manaconda. He's sounding great. All, Thank uh, you. All uncensored, you know. Right. But a uh, huge fan. He's a riot. Love to hear the dry sense of humor. And wondering if he got paid in cash. Cash or frozen pizzas for those DiGiorno commercials? Oh, pizza. I got fucking cash, brother. Yeah, those pay well, huh? These yeah, commercials. Me, they do. Shit. Yeah. I got a great fucking team. My manager, my eight day Becky, Kevin Voltrack. I got Jewish motherfuckers. They want the money. I know, because after an appearance I like got this, some you'll Jewish get a, motherfuckers he'll get that, that bite and they lock and shake. Are you a, a multi million?